I just got back from watching Terrifier 3, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it might be the most sick and twisted horror movie I've seen in a very long time. Now, with Terrifier 3, there was a massive expectation for this to be the best Terrifier movie. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I genuinely think it is the best Terrifier movie that has ever come out. Not only because it had a massive budget, but the kills in this movie are genuinely crazy. I also wanted to add in that this is gonna be a completely spoiler-free review. I'm not gonna be giving you any bits and pieces throughout the movie, I'm just gonna tell you the general understanding of the film and what I actually thought about it. So starting with the kills, I just wanna say, there's a lot of people online speculating and saying that the kills aren't as bad as the bedroom scene or can't be compared to the bedroom scene. Trust me when I tell you, I would say 95% of the kills throughout this whole entire film are just as bad and on par with the bedroom scene or worse than the bedroom scene altogether. The amount of blood, gore, guts, people just getting killed every which way possible, it happens throughout the whole entire film. And like I just said, it is genuinely as bad or worse than the bedroom scene, in my personal opinion, every single time. All of the clips you've seen online, all the things you've heard people talk about it, yes, the movie completely lives up to the hype because it is genuinely insane. I was just sitting here for the past 30 minutes trying to figure out what I actually just watched because it was that crazy. There's also a lot of Easter eggs throughout this movie as well, which I'll go into depth in another video because obviously I don't want to spoil it because technically the movie comes out today. I was thankfully able to see this movie a day early, which is amazing, but the spoiler videos are going to be crazy because the things that happened in the Easter eggs throughout this film make a lot of sense. I also wanted to talk about Victoria. If you don't know who Victoria is, she's the final girl from the original Terrifier movie who made a return in Terrifier 2, but didn't really play much of a massive role. You then have her coming back in Terrifier 3, and trust me when I tell you, she does play a massive role. Now, there was a lot of speculation online of who she was going to be teaming up with and what she was going to be doing. I even had a general idea that she was going to be teaming up with Sienna and her brother to get rid of Art the Clown. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that's not true, but I'm just going to tell you that these two, Art the Clown and Victoria, need a full psyche valve because the amount of unalivings that happen throughout this movie that they carry out in specific are genuinely crazy. Now, as we know, Terrifier 3 was made on a massive budget compared to the other films, and you can 100% tell in just the way the movie is shot and the set designs that they genuinely put a lot of love, sweat, and elbow grease into this movie. Now, as I've said in previous videos, Christmas time is my favorite time of the year because I'm born in December. I'm actually born five days before Christmas. So having a horror movie having to do around Christmas time, even though it's very extreme, it's really nice. I just love being in the jolly spirit. So having a killer going around killing people around Christmas time genuinely just like makes me feel good, which really sounds weird and kind of makes it seem like I should get a psyche valve, but you guys know what I mean. I also wanted to talk about Sienna because there's been a massive discussion online whether or not she solidified herself enough being the final girl at the end of Terrifier 2. All I'm going to say right here right now is that she is a top tier final girl in my personal opinion. But the way Terrifier 3 went in her acting throughout this movie and just her general synopsis and the way she plays this character, in my opinion, puts her at the top. In my opinion, puts her up there with Sidney Prescott. And that's just me. I'm a massive fan of the Scream franchise and I would put her all the way up there just with her performance in this movie alone. I'm not saying she's a final girl in this movie. I'm just saying the way she plays the role of being the final girl from Terrifier 2 and coming into Terrifier 3 is genuinely peak. Now going into Terrifier 3, I thought I knew a lot about Terrifier, the franchise, the characters. I thought I knew a lot about everything, but I genuinely couldn't be more wrong. The way that the movie opens and the way the movie ends genuinely had me scratch my head because the way that things are explained throughout this movie, they don't genuinely tell you. You just kind of have to look for it. And going in, I thought I knew everything. I thought I've done my research. I thought I knew about the Circle Nine. I thought I knew about this. I thought I knew about that, but I couldn't be more wrong. Now as a full-fledged Terrifier fan, I genuinely enjoyed the movie, but I could see how certain people who aren't fans of the franchise or don't know the lore and don't know the backstory and don't know things to look for wouldn't enjoy this movie. When I was walking out of the theater, I actually heard people talking about the fact that they didn't like the movie. They thought the movie was bad. They thought it was just a bunch of kills, a bunch of gore for no reason, but I kind of understand where they're coming from. But then I do have two questions for you. Why would you go see Terrifier 3 if you haven't seen Terrifier 1 or Terrifier 2? And two, why would you go see a movie that you know is going to be massively extreme, where there's going to be Easter eggs, there's a lot of lore, a lot of character backstory, but yet you still went to go see it? I'm not hating on those people at all. I'm just saying I don't understand why you would go do that. Now listen, this movie is set to break a lot of records, and I'm here to tell you that I genuinely believe the hype. I think this movie is genuinely that good. Now, is this something I'm going to put on every Christmas time? Absolutely not, because I don't think normal people who aren't into this genre of horror would genuinely enjoy it. I went to the movies all by myself tonight. I did not take anybody that I normally would because I assumed that they would not want to sit through that. It's two hours of complete gore and kills and senseless beatings and just craziness. Normal people wouldn't enjoy that. Now, us as horror fans are very normal, but we're very desensitized when it comes to horror movies and killings and things like that because it's something we enjoy watching through the movie screen, not in real life. But I think the Terrifier franchise is definitely in a sub-genre of horror because it's very gory, very kill-based, and it's very extreme. And I just don't think normal people would like it. So it kind of makes sense for people to walk out of the theater like they did in France because they just weren't expecting it. They probably just went to the premiere like, oh, we're going to a premiere, let's go watch this movie. And then they watched the first opening scene. And they were like, yeah, this is way too much. I'm going to make a completely separate video talking about the opening scene because I see a lot of people saying that the first 10 minutes is the craziest thing. Bro, it's really not that bad. If anything, the last 10 minutes is genuinely that crazy. I would even venture to say the last 20 minutes of the movie are genuinely more insane than the first 10 minutes. Yes, it's very shock. Yes, it's very this. Yes, 
because it's very that. But is it the craziest first 10 minutes I've ever seen? No. I was personally expecting a little bit more, especially with the amount of hype we've been getting for the first 10 minutes of the movie. Now, all in all, Terrifier 3, in my opinion, is an absolute 10 out of 10. It was everything I expected and more, and Damien Leone definitely did what he had to do because there were a lot of people in the theater, even sitting next to me, who are genuinely shocked when some of these kills happened. Now, with this bigger budget, I see a lot of people talking online if it dumbs down the love, if it's not as personal, if it's not as, you know, elbow grease feeling and love and all of these other things that we saw from the other movies because they had a little bit of a smaller budget. I'm going to tell you right now, Terrifier 3 is the best Terrifier movie that has ever come out. I also want to say that David Howard Thornton is absolutely insane as Art the Clown. Guys, he's just a normal guy. But then he puts the suit on and becomes Art the Clown. He is an absolute master at playing Art the Clown. And Damon Leone as the director absolutely killed it. Sienna as the main lead absolutely killed it. Genuinely, all in all, I absolutely love this movie. It's definitely shocking though for a lot of people who have not sat down and watched any of the Terrifiers before. So if this is the first time you're hearing about Terrifier, I suggest you go watch the first two first, and then go watch the third one, if you enjoy them. Now, this movie is set to break a lot of records, and I'm very excited for them because they deserve it completely. Art the Clown has become an absolute cult classic, and in this movie, and in my opinion, he now goes to the top of the slasher chain. There's a lot of people who say Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, they have more movies, they have more lore, they have more backstory. The amount of things that Art the Clown has been able to do with director Damon Leone throughout these three movies is genuinely insane. The cult following, the amount of people who love Art the Clown, the amount of people who genuinely just love the Terrifier franchise is so small yet so big. It's something Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers and a lot of these other old school characters could never be because Art the Clown just doesn't care. When it comes to these other horror movie slashers, they have to worry about being PG-13 or rated R or this, that, and the third. Is this too much? Is this that? Amy Leone says, this is what I want to see. This is what we're going to do. Budget doesn't matter. This is what we're going to do. He absolutely kills it. If any of the actors and actresses or the directors or anybody is watching this, I just want to say thank you so much for making an absolute amazing film. I know I'm glazing a little bit because I just got out of the theater, but I genuinely think this might be the best horror movie of 2024 so far as of right now. It was definitely my most anticipated movie of this year, and it did not disappoint whatsoever. And I can't be the only one who thinks that a lot of horror movies that came out this year were genuinely disappointing. And I'm just so happy and thankful that Terrifier 3 came completely full circle with a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of lore, a lot of backstory, and just did exactly what it needed to do. It filled a place in my heart, even though it was extreme, even though it was crazy, even though it was gory. We finally have a really good horror movie for this year, and at this point, I really think we only have three to four good horror movies that have come out this year. And in my personal opinion, Terrifier 3 is the best as of right now. So once again, to anybody who's watching it from the film crew to the director to anybody that's watching this video thank you so much for making an absolute masterpiece i cannot wait for terrifier 4 if that's going to happen I expect a review where i'm spoiling the movie at some point throughout this week i just want people to have a chance to watch the movie before i end up jumping on here and telling you guys everything that's going on but once again i wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the recent support on the channel it truly does mean the world to me and with all of that being said guys my name is chris and of course i will catch you guys in the next one